The van der Waals equation of state, that's equation 8.25, was devised by Johannes van der Waals to describe the behaviour of real gases by modifying the ideal gas equation PV equals nRT. And we can explain the form of the van der Waals equation using the kinetic theory. Let's begin by writing the ideal gas equation here above. So that's for ideal gases, and the van der Waals equation describes real gases. The right-hand sides of the two equations are exactly the same, so let's focus on the left-hand sides, and first the pressure term. In the van der Waals equation, P is the measured pressure. The kinetic theory for an ideal gas assumes that there are no intermolecular forces. But in a real gas, there are attractive forces between the gas molecules, and these hold the molecules back a bit. This has two effects. First, the molecules hit the walls slightly less frequently, and secondly, they hit with slightly less force. And both of these effects make the pressure less than the ideal gas law would predict. To make up for this, the van der Waals equation introduces this term, A, times n over v squared, where a is a constant for a particular gas. But why the n over v squared term? Well, n over v represents the concentration of gas, and the more concentrated the gas, the closer the molecules are together, making the attractive forces greater. The term is squared because the attractive forces have two effects on the molecules. They hit the walls less frequently and with slightly less force. Now let's look at the volume term. V in the van der Waals equation is the measured volume. The kinetic theory for an ideal gas assumes that the gas molecules themselves have no volume. But in a real gas, they do in fact occupy some of the volume. And this means there is slightly less volume available for the molecules to move about in. To make up for this, the van der Waals equation reduces the measured volume by the factor n times b, where b is a constant for a particular gas. But why is the factor of the form n times b? Well, b represents the volume that is unavailable because it's occupied by the gas molecules themselves. And this is for one mole of the gas, so you multiply it for by n, the number of moles of gas in the sample, to get the total volume occupied by the gas molecules. So, the van der Waals equation adjusts the measured values of P and V for real gases to make them follow the ideal gas law. In reality, the ideal gas equation gives pretty accurate results, especially at high temperatures and low pressures. So for most purposes, it's good enough to use PV equals nRT rather than the van der Waals equation.